Hello, this is Dr. Benjamin Norris from the Chemistry Department at Frostburg State University. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reactions of sulfides. Uh, sulfides, or thioethers, have two primary uh, types of reactions. One is as nucleophiles or alkyl transfer agents, and then the second one as uh, undergoing redox reactions to be oxidized to sulfoxides and sulfones. So first, a really interesting property of sulfides in comparison to ethers is that sulfides are still really pretty good nucleophiles and so can be convinced to undergo a further alkylation that arrow where I want it, to undergo further alkylation to form these trialkyl sulfonium compounds. I need to have some kind of uh, counter eye on there. And then these uh, reagents are themselves very active electrophiles and so can react with uh, a wide range of nucleophiles, um, all kinds of nucleophiles really, as a, an alkylating agent, leaving behind the, the sulfide as a leaving group. All right, and so this reaction regenerates the original sulfide, so if the sulfide was something you wanted to, to recapture, you absolutely could. There we go. Lots of different nucleophiles. One of the most important variations of uh, this particular reaction it involves uh, a thionine. to the negative charge here. Let's make this right. So here's methionine. And methionine is an amino acid with a sulfide in its uh, side chain. And methionine reacts with ATP in one of these uh, kinds of alkyl, uh, alkylation reactions. And so methionine can act as a nucleophile on ATP, kick out the uh, triphosphate anion as a leaving group. And the product of this reaction, S adenosyl methionine, try to get it all over here on a screen, S adenosyl methionine, or sometimes abbreviated SAM, SAM, is a really important uh, methyl transferase agent. So this methyl group here in the box is really, really electrophilic and all kinds of uh, biological nucleophiles from um, proteins to nucleic acids, whatever, needs a methyl group. If uh, you need a methyl group on something in a biological situation, S-adenosyl methionine is one of the possible sources uh, of that methyl group. The other kind of reaction that thiols can undergo a redox, or not thiols, sulfides can undergo are uh, redox reactions. And so uh, the thiols can be oxidized to uh, sulfoxides. which can then be further oxidized to sulfones. Um, just use a generic O in brackets to represent some kind of oxidizing process copy and paste the oxygen over here. So one uh, 
uh, oxidizing agent that does this uh, really quite well is hydrogen peroxide. So we could use H hydrogen peroxide to oxidize uh, a sulfide to a sulfoxide. And we only want one equivalent of hydrogen peroxide because hydrogen peroxide will oxidize sulfoxides to sulfones. And so if we have one equivalent of hydrogen peroxide, it will oxidize from the sulfide to the sulfoxide. And if we do this reaction with, say, I want the arrow to excess hydrogen peroxide, or at least two equivalents, but let's say excess hydrogen peroxide, then we will oxidize the sulfide to the sulfone. Uh, another reagent that can oxidize the uh, the sulfide to the sulfoxide and stop is sodium periodate, NiAio4. So here's an oxidizing agent that uh, if treated, if this reaction is treated gently, will stop at the sulfoxide. And in the case of all such oxidations, there are probably multiple ways that this can be done. Um, but here are just two examples. In an upcoming video, I'll share the, the chemical reactivity of sulfoxides and sulfones. Uh, so thank you for watching.